Master skills against Mallard. No, don't choke slam her. Are you serious? Oh, come on. This is an unfair advantage, I think, for Mallard and the experience. And of submissions like the crossface. Now has perfected a running knee in addition to eat the feet. Mr. K pushes home, but Moxie Molly is able to use her running momentum to tackle her down. Mr. K stays low, tries to drop kick, missed everything. Moxie put on the foot breaks and how embarrassing for Mr. K that thing hurt. Skills against Miller. No, don't choke slam her. Are you serious? Oh, come on. No man should be grabbing up on a woman like that. That's wrong. Moxie jumps on the back of Miller. Yeah, ride him, cowboy. Ride him. Oh, come on. Back first into the corner. Oh, but Moxie continues to fight back. Jumping all over Miller. Try to suffocate. The Miller dumps her right back forward into the middle of the ring. This is an unfair advantage, I think, for Miller, who's got the size, height, and reach advantage and the experience. And Moxie kicks the foot out underneath the Miller as he lands head first on the middle turnbuckle plane. Swing and a miss as the tag is made. Alex Matthews is leaving with his match. Nice arm drag. The combo of pro wrestling and Lucha Libre skills all in one. And nice. Spinning twisting. Arm drag. Upside down and over. Very well done. The fans want another one. They love seeing Miller thrown around the screen. And Alex continues to control that left arm and wrist. something that has happened in recent months. This Miller is set to cry and absorbs a double team elbow smash. Miller's last match in LLT, a victory against Eddie Vendetta and Elgin. But today, it's Moxie Molly who wants to humiliate and 
destroy Chris Miller and be the Shiro of the community. As another tag is made, the frequent tags in and out, although are not entirely necessary in this Lucha Libre scenario, are being made anyway. High flying splash by Malix for a two count. He's got the height and the size. Great run and gun offense. This Alex Matthews, very innovative. He's got a very cool move set as Miller sent crashing to the outside on the outcome. Malik's is gonna take flight air. Watch out! Oh no! Miller clocked him in the head. Malik's could not hit his intended target. And now we got a fight on the floor between the two male components of this match. Hey, first in the post. Malik's been, has been knocked out so upside down and around the block. Oh, how tragic. And Miss Akita's applauding this abuse. This is terrible. Oh, again. How many times can he be thrown into that post before something's done about it? Come on, Gopito. Get this match back in the ring. Some fans very loud and animated for this match. An unconventional tag team environment. Men, women, they can mix it up in this one. Miller refuses to be locked out of any scenario. And now Missa Kane is back in the ring going after Malix Matthews. Missa Kane has proven that she can brawl with the best of them, men or women. And the frustration, the anger, the violence. And Moxie Molly sidesteps the attack of Missa Kate, but then absorbs a forearm, knocking Moxie off of the ring apron and stairs to the floor. Miller reinserts himself into this formula as Moxie Molly can do nothing but watch on as her partner is taking all this abuse. Watch out! Butterfly suplex! Alex Matthews had his head and neck bounce off the mat pretty bad right there. And Miller almost put Alex Matthews away. As a tag team that had success, but Alex Matthews decided there's a lot of other good reasons to fight for the right and our team. And I'm here to protect Boxing Molly as well as protect his own potential future in Lucha Libre and Pro Wrestling. Nice counter by Malix trying to refine that right leg, but Miller crushes Malix's head to get out of it. The momentum is in the favor of the Rudos at this point as Chris Miller, Mr. Kate, are containing Malix Matthews in that far corner. When that bell sounds, you don't know what you're going to see out of Miss Akeem. But more likelier than not, that roundhouse kick of hers is deadly. And she can hit it on a man or a woman. It could be the end of the road for one of the two opposing forces in this match. But submissions are her weakness. And Miss Akeem rubbing it in the face of Moxie Molly with some trash talking. Miller the upper hand and just when you think Moxie's gonna even the odds it does not happen as Mr. K trying to strangle Malik's Matthews on the far side. Straight for the eyes goes Malik's but Chris Miller holds on to a front face line. The focus, the determination of Malik's Matthews and Moxie Molly right at the moment is being as both of the men collided in mid-ring, both men had a similar idea. They collided chest to chest with one another. Both men are down. Who's going to be the first to get to their feet? Moxie moments away, trying to get herself back into this match. Featured on Nationwide TV on Monday Night Raw as a, and, and several other televised products as of late. And Moxie Molly is a focal point in women's pro wrestling in the Midwest. And Missa King is back in the ring to prove herself. But Moxie striking on Missa King several times. This female wrestling star full of life. 
Intelligence, charm, pizzazz, and courage. And a beautiful snapping neck breaker. That's one of Moxie's signature moves as she starts to climb to the second row. She might have a plan to dive on her action. What a diving missile drop hit that was! Miller breaks up the count and yanks at her hair. What the heck is going on here? He just pulled her down again. The women are down. Malik stalks. Crushing clothesline. They both go over the top to the floor. The only ones left are Moxie and Mr. Kate inside of the ring. Jawbreaker by Mr. Kate. Kate on the run. Oh, face plunging drop. She put her down from six feet in the air. Miller and Mr. Kate, did they win that? I think the Moxie got her shoulder off. We got a fight on the outside. Miller and Malik still going at it. 